Hello, my name's William Hudson from UK Cars for Less, based in the countryside, not far from Eccleshall in Staffordshire. We're close also, sorry I'm a bit distracted by this rainbow, we're close also to Stafford and halfway between Birmingham and Manchester. We've got good links to the M6 and to the railway via Stafford Mainline Station, which is only nine miles away. So today I want to talk to you about our Seat Leon FR. It's in this lovely blue colour, which I think is the best colour for this car. It's quite rare actually, you don't see many of them around. As you can see it's got the FR wheels and the red calipers, little complimentary red stripe. You can see there as well it's got the privacy glass on the rear. I'll just take you quickly around the vehicle. The other thing that's quite nice about this particular one is the number plate. Delta Foxtrot 15 Mu, so DF is Mu, or DF is Mu. Is Mu. So uh, it's not a private plate, but it's a nice plate. As you can see, the bodywork is really nice, really well looked after by the former keeper, recently serviced by Evans Holshaw. And uh, yeah, they're very practical, and I love the handling on these cars. This is the, just show you the boot. Loads of space in there. It's sleek without the rear wiper. Really, really nice in the blue. So this is the 150 brake horsepower version, which is a bit of a sweet spot in the range. It's the two litre 150. They do do a 184 as well, but the 150 is lower road tax and does better economy as well. Because we're a monster tuning dealer, we can offer this uh, with, a, with a chip, with the Eco chip which is 190 brake horsepower, but will actually, as its name suggests, give you better economy as well. So uh, before I get rained on, because that, uh, that storm is uh, definitely getting closer, I will uh, get into the vehicle and show you some of the other details in there. So this particular car has the tech pack on it. And what does that mean? Well, the tech pack's quite important because if they've got the tech pack, they have this nav unit in. And without the tech pack, they don't have the nav unit in. And the reason I'm mentioning it is because it's actually quite difficult to fit the nav unit uh, into one without the tech pack. And a lot of cars seem to be misadvertised having the tech pack when they don't, which is, which is a bit frustrating. So if you look down here, you can see you've got dual zone climate control as well. And you've also got a mode switch here. And the mode switch can change the driving dynamics of the car as you drive. You've got your start-stop. It's got parking sensors front and rear which come up on a graphic on the screen. It's not a camera but it, in some ways it's better because it actually tells you exactly where the obstacle is. And a camera on a dark day, as uh, a few people will tell you, can, can be a disaster. So it's a six-speed gearbox on these. Um, very dynamic drive. Um, really good for enthusiastic drivers. I'll just start her up. As you can hear, the engine's lovely and smooth, just as you expect. I'll just check the clutch is perfect, just halfway. Uh, you can do all your streaming Bluetooth and so on. That's the uh, that's the navigation screen there. I'll just uh, you can zoom in and out. Um, it's got cruise control, auto lights, auto wipers, and a dimming rear view mirror as well. Um, so as I say, if you want any more information on this car, want to come down and have a look and have a drive perhaps, um, or want to talk about delivery or finance, um, by all means click the link, send us an email, or give me a call. My name's William. Cheers now. Bye.